Here's our first example of how to calculate the change in area of, of a slab. In this case, it's an aluminum uh, metal plate. Uh, let's say the length is 6 meters, the width uh, is 4 meters. Of course, we're ignoring the thickness. That's not important. We just want to know how much the area has changed. What is the new area now if we increase the temperature of that from 20 degrees centigrade to 100 degrees centigrade? So now what we discovered was that the equation says that the final area equals the initial area times 1 plus 2 times the linear coefficient of expansion uh, times delta t. All right, let's see what that's equal to. First, the area, and of course, area initially will be the 4 times 6 meters. So it would be 4 meters times the 6 meters for the original area times 1 plus 2 times the linear coefficient of uh, expansion for aluminum, which if you remember that right, that would be uh, 24 times 10 to the minus 6 per centigrade degree. And then we'll multiply that times the change in the temperature. Now we went from 20 degrees centigrade to 100 degrees centigrade, so that's a change of 80. So that's 80 centigrade degrees. And um, hmm, close bracket right here. Now let's see what that's equal to. And my calculator is hiding my back pocket. So here we go. Uh, 24 e to the 6 minus times 80 times 2. We add that to 1. And then we'll multiply that times the original area of 24. So, uh, so times 24 equals, and so this is equal to 24.09 meters squared. Area final. So, what percentage would that be compared to the original area? So, percent change is equal to the original, original area minus the final area divided by the original area. And of course, we want to multiply that times 100%. So what percent change is that? So the original minus the final area, if this is the original area, and of course, we want to make sure we put absolute value signs around that because it turns out the original area, of course, is smaller than the final area. You want the, the absolute value of that. So the difference between the two is 24.09 and 24. So that's uh, 0.09 divided by 24 and then times 100%. And so that ends up to be a change of 0.375% in the area. Okay, and that's how we calculate that. So a nice little example to show you how to change, how to calculate the new area of a plate that went through a temperature change of 80 degrees centigrade.